her first appearance at NCAAs, she came in third. Alexis Jones is here to talk to us today about what it's like being on the women's rowing team and her experiences from last year. You rowed in high school, and then you were not recruited to row in college, but you walked onto the novice team. Can you tell me why you chose to do that and you became a coxswain instead of a rower, what that transition was like? Um, so I rowed in high school, I sculled and I rowed lightweight. And then when I came to college, I was like, I don't know what to do. And sports had always been a big part of my life. So I decided to walk onto the novice team. Um, and I'm 5'4", <laughs> and <laughs> rowers are generally, genu generally <laughs> way taller than that. So I decided to be a coxswain. Um, and the transition was pretty easy in the sense that I understood the stroke and I understood what it was like to be a rower. So I think for novice, that really got me a lot of respect just because the girls understood that I knew what they were doing. Um, to an extent, and so then I think going from that, being on novice where everyone's learning how to row, um, I really learned how to cox with them, and so it was a really fun thing as a team that we like kind of grew together, and then were able to compete at Big Tens together at the end of the season. Definitely, yeah, that's awesome. So, you're a senior, but last year, as in your junior year, was your first year competing at NCAA's, and in fact, you came in third, so you medaled. So. What was that like going from never going in that atmosphere before to being on stage? You went to the grand finals. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I mean, having never been to NCs before, I really had no idea what to expect. Um, and I think the whole season really prepared me really well. And I think my boat was super supportive the whole time. And I think we had just this camaraderie within the boat that really made each race so much fun and so exciting so that by the time we got to NCs I knew that we were so prepared that it really took away all the nerves and I was just like excited to have fun and like see how fast we actually were against some of the fastest teams in the nation um, and to make the grand final and then ultimately to medal was one of the coolest feelings in the entire world um, and to stand up there with my teammates and know that we had like really done this together put in so much hard work together really meant a lot to me and I know it meant a lot to everyone else in the boat. Do you think meddling at NCAAs and coming in third meant even more to you because you came so close to a Big Ten championship? You were one point short as a team. Your boat won, so technically your boat was a Big Ten championship, but you were one point short as a team. Yeah, I think it really was like a redemption thing for us. Um, at the end of the day, when at the end of NCAAs, you know, to see Michigan ahead of Ohio State <laughs> was an amazing feeling. Um, it really was disappointing to lose Big Tens by one point, especially knowing that every single boat did exactly what they were supposed to do and what was asked of them. And I think that's really tough, but that's really like kind of what sports is about is that's why you compete because you never know what the outcome is going to be. Um, and so then to kind of go take that loss and really turn it around and go to NCAAs and as a team come in third and then as a boat come in third and know that we were ahead of Ohio State was that much sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely always great to beat OSU. Yes. <laughs> and so my last question for you is what is your favorite command when you're coxing and why? Okay, my favorite command is definitely here comes Michigan. Um, the 2V last year used it at the 1,000 meter mark, which is halfway through the race. Um, and we really just rallied around it. It's a really fun call because it reminds you that you're doing this for Michigan, you're doing it for everyone in your boat, you're doing it for yourself. Um, and it's just a really cool call that every single person rallies around. Mm -hmm. And it really, like that for us, like sets the tone for the second half of the race. So even though we're fatigued and everyone's like, it's, you know, knows that there's so much more to go, it really like, it's almost like a new race at that, at that thousand meter mark. And so it's so much fun to call. And it's pretty fun to like, yell, here comes Michigan, and have all the other teams kind of be like, oh, wow, there they go. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, well, thanks so much, and congrats again. Thanks. <laughs>